At the southern end of this world, there exists rigid ice and snow. No natural notable features, no mountains, no green or solid land, just an endlessly vast highland of snow and ice. This is what we all have been told for decades about the South Pole, aka the continent of Antarctica. But the unmatchable power of science and geology has made us enable to unlock some deeply hidden facts about the Antarctica continent, which we never knew before. The true Antarctica facts that were never told to normal people are now unleashed by scientists through recent research in the Antarctica region. If you want to have these scientific findings before you on a silver platter, then join us in this video as we will uncover the latest scientific findings that will provide you with Antarctic knowledge that was never told. Antarctica is the world's fifth largest continent. It is the coldest, windiest, driest, and most remote area in the extreme south of the equator. Encircled by a marine belt, where northward flowing cold water meets the warmer waters of the world's oceans. The Antarctic region makes up 20% of the south of the equator. Despite its huge surface area and being one of the largest continents, Antarctica doesn't have its native population and doesn't have a single country. However, several countries claim a part of the Antarctic to be part of their region, which includes the United Kingdom, New Zealand, Australia, France, Chile, Norway, and Argentina. Antarctica is mainly known as the polar desert, with over 8 inches long of ice along the coast, and about 70% of freshwater reserves are frozen in Antarctica, which can raise the world's sea levels by 60 meters if it's melted due to climate change. In the winter season, the temperature can rise from negative 10 degrees to negative 70 degrees, whereas in summer it can go from 0 degrees to negative 10 degrees. Due to higher elevation, the eastern Antarctic region is colder than the western Antarctic land. The center of the region is mostly dry due to the least penetration of the weather fronts into the continent. About 1.22 meters or 48 inches of snowfall in only 48 hours has been recorded on the coastal portion, which is quite common for that part of the region. The temperature of the Antarctic region is rising over the decades. This could be due to greenhouse gas emissions. The dark tints over the western Antarctic show the warrant region due to global warming or climate change. One of the two polar ice caps of the world, the ice shells of Antarctica, was first discovered by Russia during the expedition in the year 1820. Further explorations by other countries, such as France, America, and Britain, revealed other parts of Antarctica. Before the discovery of the actual Antarctic region, people believed in an intellectual concept that there exists a vast continent in the extreme south of the globe that balances the northern lands of Asia, Europe, and North Africa and this belief lasted until the discovery of Australia. Currently, Antarctica is governed by almost 30 countries, all of which work under 1959's Antarctic Treaty System. According to this treaty system, no military activity, nuclear explosions, nuclear waste disposal, and mining are prohibited in the region area. The only activity that is allowed in and around this continent is fishing tourism and research. Researchers are the only people who have a permit to reside at research stations in Antarctica. Researchers have now found some mysterious creatures, rainforests, and signs of an ancient civilization under the Antarctic waters that have never been told in past decades. But the scientists who are interested in oceans, polar ice caps, and especially Antarctica, always believe there's more in Antarctica than just being in Iceland. In the latest research, a team of scientists from New Zealand drilled through the Antarctic ice shelf to document how climate change is melting the Antarctic ice shelf. To do so, the team dropped a camera into the cavity that revealed a never-before-seen ecosystem in the underground river of the Antarctic ice shelf. The ecosystem contained hundreds of amphibipods, small shrimp-like crustaceans, which swarmed the camera as it descended into the underground river. However, previous satellite images showed a sign of habitat in the Antarctic ice shelf near the edge of the river, but the team suspected which is an ice estuary. After several years of detection of habitat under the Antarctic shelf, researchers gathered at the research station, and they drilled down 1,640 feet below the outer edges of the world's largest floating ice body. They sent a camera down the cavern, and what they saw at first was blurry flecks. Researchers thought it was just debris floating around, but after several rounds of camera cleaning, they found out it was living crustaceans. The researchers reported Having all those animals swimming around our camera, 
means there's an important ecosystem process happening there, which we would do more research on by analyzing water samples to test for things like nutrients. The team also found four to five layers of water flowing in all different directions. The water was not mixing due to difference in temperature and salt concentrations. Normally, this effect is seen due to a nearby volcano eruption. Further research will reveal never-before-told secrets of Antarctica's ice shelves. If researchers can claim to discover an ecosystem under the ice shelf, is it possible that there exists or ever existed a rainforest underneath Antarctica? During an expedition, researchers drilled deep into the ground underneath the seabed of West Antarctica, about 900 kilometers away from the South Pole. At the depths of 30 meters, researchers found something that caught their eyes and revealed little insights about the ancient Antarctic region. Geologist John says, during the initial shipboard assessment, the unusual correlation of the sediment layer quickly caught our attention. The first analysis indicated that at a depth of 27 to 30 meters below the ocean floor, we had found a layer originally formed on land, not in the ocean. Paleontologist Ulrich Salzman says, the numerous plant remains indicate that the coast of West Antarctica was, back then, a dense, temperate, swampy forest, similar to the forest found in New Zealand today. The implications of this discovery tell us that not only polar plants existed back then, but they also hint existence of a dense forest could be possible. Another massive and mysterious revelation about Antarctica is about to happen, when after 30 years of long observation and research, scientists are able to bring up an archaeological discovery for a review. In 1985, an almost 100-year-old unique skull was discovered on Yamana Beach in Antarctica's South Shetlands. This was undoubtedly unexpected, as it was found near a base camp made by sealers of the early 19th century. The scientists claimed the skull belonged to a woman from Chile, who might have died between the years 1819 and 1825. The skull was the oldest human remains ever found in Antarctica. However, the thing that confused scientists was, in the early 19th century, the concept of a female being a sealer was unheard of. New scientific documents were not enough to explain how and why a young woman can reach that part of the region, as it was extremely drastic for any human or any species to survive there in that area. Now the skull is known to be the first landing on Antarctica, and a significant archaeological treasure for nations who are striving to get deep into Antarctica. A few of the 30 countries that have control over Antarctica are quietly preparing to stake their rights as the owners of the barely habitable land. These nations might be interested in owning the land, but their scientists support that a single nation's continuous investment in archaeology can reveal treaty remains and discoveries that might shock the whole world. And who knows, we might find evidence of ancient civilizations in Antarctica just like we found the skull of a 19th century woman. Only continuous efforts of scientists will reveal what lies underneath the Antarctic region and what creatures it carries inside of it. From its discovery to date, Antarctica has always been a mystery for scientists and even normal people. Whatever we have been told about it being a barren ice land topped with hundreds of feet of ice that no species could have ever existed on, underneath, and beside it are now proven wrong by scientists. In their latest research on Antarctica waters, Antarctica ice shelves, and on the continent as a whole, but what we now know is far beyond what we knew a decade ago. And with that pace, at which scientists are working on Antarctica, soon we will be able to uncover whether an ancient civilization ever existed on it or not.